Hello all, this video is on wireless version of Raspberry Pi's Pico Boot which offers a wealth of possibilities for IoT projects. The normal Pico is powered by RP2040, Raspberry Pi's own system on chip, ARM Cortex M0 Plus running at 133 MHz. The Pico W board is of the same size as standard Pico and the silver square housing seen is the Infineon CYW43439 wireless LAN chip. The three serial wire debug pins have been moved below the Wi-Fi chip and it has got the same R RP2040 SoC with 2 MB onboard flash and 264 KB SRAM. For power and data connection, micro USB is provided and the semicircle holes at the edge are castellated pins and it has got no headers. There is also a header version WH. Out of the 26 multifunction GPO pins, 23 GPO or uh, digital only pins and 3 ADC capable. The Infineon CYW43439 supports wireless LAN 802.11 BGN and Bluetooth 5.2 but the software is not yet implemented for Bluetooth. The Pico W has only a single 4 GHz band which is 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and supports up to 4 clients on soft IP. On top you can see a triangle on PCP which is the PCP antenna. Both Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth uses the same antenna. Adding grounded metal to the sides of the antenna can improve the antenna's band bandwidth. There is also Pico WH version with pre-soldered header pins. Next we will see how to install the MicroPython uh, firmware. Visit the Raspberry Pi official website, go to documentation and uh, scroll down to data sheets at the bottom. You can see a MicroPython firmware Pico W UEF2. Uh, select the firmware for uh, Pico W UEF2. UEF2 is USB flashing format, a bootloader file uh, that is compiled for uh, Pico W. It makes it easier to flash code onto RP20. Uh, you can simply drag this file onto a removable drive. No drivers are required while using this UEF2 file. You need to press and hold the boot cell button on the Pico W. There is only one button uh, which is a boot cell button on the Pico W. There is no reset button. Press hold this boot cell and then connect the USB cable to your PC. Now a new removable drive will appear which is named as RPI-RP2. This removable drive has got two files. One is the text file containing the bootloader versions and the second one is the HTML file. Now you have to copy the UF2 file downloaded and place it onto this removable drive. Visit the folder where you have stored the UF2 file and then drag and drop this file onto the removable drive. Now the drive will uh, disappear once UF2 is placed on this uh, drive. And a COM port is allotted to your Pico W. You can open your device manager and then check out the COM port allotted. Any serial software like PuTTY can be used to access the Pico W controller now. We will be using Thony Python for uh, our MicroPython coding. You can consider Thony as a workroom to create Python projects. Visit the uh, Thony website and download the version suitable to your OS. Mine is uh, Windows 64 bit and downloading the Windows 64 bit version. And then double click, click on the exe file to install the uh, Thony Python follow the instructions and uh, finally open the Tony IDE. Tony IDE has got debug modes and uh, supports breakpoints. On the top is the toolbox. On the top section is code editor where you will write the code. And the bottom is the Python shell where you will see the outputs from your code. You can click on uh, help about to see the version of the Tony uh, Python. It supports uh, a wide range of uh, interpreters. Now you have to install the MicroPython interpreter. Go to uh, Tools, Options and then click on Interpreter tab and then select the MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. 
It supports a wide variety of interpreters. Select the Micro Python, Raspberry Pi, Pico, and then select the COM port of the year, Pico W, and then click on OK. Once the you select the interpreter for MicroPython, the REPL prompt appears at the bottom. Now it is MicroPython. You can uh, test the code in the interpreter. Interpreter is a program that directly executes the instruction uh, code by code. You can try uh, the printf code, hello world. And also you can import SYS. Import in Python is similar to hash include header in C. It is like importing packages and then call the uh, function sys.implementation to see the hardware. It shows that hardware is uh, pico w. You can also import uos which is the basic operating system services and then uos.list directory will list the directory in the python uh, pico w. You can also uh, click on pico uh, view files to see the files on the computer as well as on the pico w. To clear the python shell, use control plus L. No other code will work. Only control plus L will clear the python shell. Now let us uh, see how to uh, switch on and off the LED, onboard LED. Use import machine. Machine library in MicroPython includes all basics, uh, basic built-in libraries. And then create an object called LED with two parameters, LED and pin dot out. Note that the onboard LED in Pico W is not connected to GPIO 25 it is connected to the Infineon chip so create an LED object from that pin which is uh, referred as uh, capital letter LED and set the pin as output machine dot pin dot out now let us call the function LED dot on this LED dot on function uh, will uh, switch on the onboard LED call the function LED dot off which will switch off the onboard LED. So you can switch on and off from the interpreter. Now let us see how to uh, blink the LED using the code editor. We will write a code in MicroPython so that the LED is uh, automatically uh, uh, blinking. First import the machine and then create uh, and then also import time which is uh, uh, which is for delay function and then create the uh, LED object using the two parameters LED and machine.pin.out and then start the while loop that is the never ending loop and pause on the boolean true note the indentation uh, so in python we are not using braces instead we use the indentation it is automatic and then uh, LED.on and a sleep function for uh, 5 seconds use time dot sleep not only sleep time dot sleep and then again led dot off and then uh, time dot sleep now save this file say so now you got two options either you can save it on the uh, your uh, computer or in the raspberry pi pico save it on raspberry pi pico and save this file as uh, uh, main.py and then click on the green button to execute now you can see the onboard LED blinking next we will see the Wi-Fi capability of Pico W click on the red button to stop the execution click file new and then import network network library create a WLAN network object the supported interfaces are network.sta underscore if and the other one is ap underscore if st underscore if which is station or client which connects to other Wi-Fi access points and then activate the network interface here we pass on the true boolean argument to activate WLAN active true next uh, use the WLAN dot scan function to scan the available surrounding networks the results of WLAN dot scan function is assigned to a variable we name it as access points then we start the for loop for uh, ap in access points and then we use the print uh, to to print the surrounding access points print ap save this file save this file in uh, 
Raspberry Pi Pico and uh, name it as main.py now click on uh, the green button to execute now you can see the surrounding access points uh, nearby the, your Pico W here I have got uh, one uh, uh, access point which is ALS Electro the access point uh, uh, details printed are SSID name and then the RSSI that is the signal, signal strength and the web whether it is password protected or not now let us see how to connect with this uh, access point we will be connecting the Pico W to this access point ALS Electro now stop the execution open file new import now import network rp2 and then time uh, time is for delay and the rp2 function that is a module contains functions and classes specific to rp2040 now you use the country function and uh, include your uh, country code minus in now create the uh, wlan uh, uh, object and then uh, activate the network interface next we use the connect function wlan dot connect and pass on the ssid and the password we are using this uh, uh, we are going to connect to this ssid ALS Electro. so use this uh, ssid name and the relevant password then we use uh, the while statement here we use the is connected function as well as the status connection to verify whether it is uh, connected with the access point or till it connects it prints the uh, string waiting to connect so time dot sleep of uh, one second is included so every one second it will check up whether it has connected with the access point once it is connected to the access point it will print the if config for this we use print wlan dot if config function which will print the IP address and the subnet mask and other details. Now save this file and uh, name it as main.py. Click on OK. Now click on the green button to execute. Now it is uh, searching the. Uh, you got an error, so this indentation is very important. Save this file and execute it now you it is waiting to connect once it is connected it will show the IP address subnet mask for the IP network gateway IP and the DNS uh, server details so it is connected with the access point uh, thank you for watching